There you go guys, just want to walk you through um, grafting some of these um, desert roses. So I've got a bunch of uh, pinks that have uh, come up, quite a big size, a couple of years old and um, yeah, just want to graft them with something a bit more desirable, um, chase a bit more money for them too. So um, what I've got is I've just got some uh, alcohol mixed with water, uh, about, I don't know, 10% alcohol and the rest is water. Uh, got some super glue, a paper towel, real sharp Stanley knife. I think this is called grafting tape. And just the marker, and then um, got some zip block bags that I use. This is a little humidifier thing, and um, yeah, and these are the um, these are ones I've grown from seeds from Taiwan. We've got some pretty cool colours here. Um, these are starting to outgrow the pot, get a bit of um, bug activity, so I want to graft these. Uh, we'll chop them down a bit and then graft them onto um, onto the uh, desert rose root stock. So we'll, we'll go through that process and uh, I think I'll start off with this purple single. It's a bit faded now, but um, yeah, we'll chop that right back and we'll have a heap of budwood for that. and then. Uh, yeah, I'll go through the process of it. Alright. So I'll try to do this one handed. Um, you just want to go get as much wood as you can without um, disadvantaging the plant too much. So I'll just cut it here with a Stanley knife. This cut doesn't have to be precise. But we'll cut it precisely on the table so. I'll uh, set up the tripod and go through that. Alrighty, so um, between cuts, your Stanley gets a bit gummy, so I just um, hit that with that prune and cleaner, all that alcohol stuff, and uh, just give it a bit of a spray down. Just get all the crap off it and use the towel. And then uh, you just want to cut yourself a good little spot on here um, so you can super glue on the graft. So um, I reckon about here we'll do. Just going to do a single graft on this guy. So we just literally just do a real clean cut. Don't worry if you bugger it up the first time. But um, yeah, just a clean cut like that. And then uh, just clean off your your knife again bit of alcohol and then we want to go to our um, bring you down bring you down here so this is the uh, bit of graft we've got a purple I just cut the leaves off and then this is a nice fat bit so just want to do a nice slicing motion Keep it pretty straight and then I want to keep a couple of um, eyes on it. So that's an eye there, that's an eye there, that's an eye there. Keep a few eyes on it. Um, just try and do a clean cut. Just clean enough cut there and as long as the bit that you actually, so the way that was is like that long as that bit is facing the right way up and that's a clean cut there you're laughing really and then uh, what we'll do is I'll take you back up here again if I can get a good shot of this yeah so um, sometimes you get a bit fair bit of sap come through and uh, yeah, what you do is just try and get that to sit on there as nice as possible and then uh, take your super glue this one's a bit old so it's a bit jelly and then you just hold this down as tight as you can and uh, just run run the super glue around the edge and if you've got a bit of bicarb soda you can just throw that on the glue and it will make it dry quicker 
but I don't have any. So we're just doing this. And um, just try and cover all the cut bits because it sort of works as a, a uh, sealant as well. And I'm just applying pressure. And I, I was sort of, you should probably wear gloves because it's poisonous, but I'll just um, hold it there and then go wash my hands afterwards. And then, um, yeah, so wait for that to cure off. You can blow on it. A bit of moisture in your breath helps it cure a bit quicker. But you just want to hold it tight so the glue doesn't actually seep in to the edge. It just dries on the side here. Yeah, it's um, this is the quickest and easiest method. You can give it a bit of wheel to see if it feels like it's adhered, which it does. And uh, you just want to go around and see if you've missed anywhere. Look, the better you can do this, the better success rate you get. I've got pretty much, I don't know, around 90, 90% doing it this way. So, this is a pretty good way to do it. Yeah, so just seal around the edges here. It doesn't dry out. It's, um, most places would be spring now, but it's more like summer here, so, and then I just cover the top as well. Just a light coating on the top. I usually do about four at the time, and by the time I put this one in the line, uh, put it in the line at the, at the start, and then I'll come and tie this one up first, and then work my way back. And then all, the last one should have dried by then, so, um, yeah, that's what I pretty much do um, for, the, for, the, for the graft. And then I'll show you the tie-up process. I'll go do a few more and then get to it in the end. All right. All right, guys. I've um, I've done four, and then I've just come back to this one, and now I'm gonna just um, uh, tie it down. So these arms um, tend to, when they soak water, they tend to crack the glue and stuff. So, well, within reason. That's my my thinking behind anyway so I want to tape it down so we'll, uh, I'll, we'll not tape it but tie it down so it, if it does move it's still got pressure on it and um, I've done it this way the whole ever since I started doing it so uh, it's just the best way I think so yeah just get some of this um, grafting tape and then just I just roll off like enough to tie around it and you'll see me process so just cut that and um, what I'll do is I'll just, this one's got some roots on it, so I'll try to get that under the root to secure it. What I'll do is uh, tie that around there, like halves. So I've got the two tails there, and I'll just tie it around half and half. And uh, you don't want to go too tight with this because you can break it but just so it's got a good purchase and then what I do is I take this t tail here and I try and line it up central with this guy and then pull it down the back so I'll show you here it's just applying downward pressure uh, if you can see my hand there so it's tied off there with just an overhand knot and then I'll come around with this other tail and I just wrap that around the circumference a couple of times to secure it and then I come back put the two tails together and then I just do another overhand knot or granny knot whatever you want to call it and then just another one and, and that just keeps the downward pressure on it while it's um and I just cut those tags off while it's uh how do you say um, grafting or um, healing? So that's it there. And um, the, the next step I do, just to try and increase the chances of the graft working, 
there's a little bit of super glue in here, so I'll put a bit more on. Uh, come on, there we go. Um, just to try and guarantee that it's going to work, is just to get a Ziploc bag. So I've got some uh, different size ones here, and then I just um just a Ziploc bag, and I just place it over the, the graph to work as like a bit of a humidity chamber and uh, even if you do miss a bit with the sealing on the super glue it should help it from drying out and then um, sometimes they fit alright on there with that without um, blowing off but I usually if I got some I usually just use a bit of tape to hold it on there um, so it doesn't blow off and then you can reuse them a few times so just pull a bit of tape off and just go around the circumference pretty tightly and that's um one graph ready to go and then as soon as you see a bud start to pop out of one of the eyes that's when you know it's time to take this guy off but um yeah, just some tips is just don't skimp on the glue, get some good glue. Um, you know, try and give it the best the best chance it will do to grow because you're investing a bit of time here because, you know, it'll probably be a month before it, it buds or shoots and then uh, and you got to sort of keep an, keep an eye on it. Sometimes the bud will come under the tape, so you might just move the tape a little bit. And uh, yeah, once that comes off, it will it'll bud out and grow leaves, and then sort of keep them in indirect light for for a, you know a couple of months up on this table here. Uh, gets gets the sun most of the day, but it's all indirect. So and then I just water them like normal. But um, yeah, yeah, you're looking at. I don't know, but if you want to sell them, I'll, I'll take all this off once it's healed up and sell them. So you're looking at a uh, sort of year turnaround between when they actually look good, if that's all filled out and um, looking healthy. I'll try and find an example of one. Uh, that's a that's about a year old from when I grafted it last to show you what they how they sort of fill out. Anyway. All right, here's um. Here's one I grafted about a year ago. Um, you can hardly see the graft, so that's the that's the graft there. It's a pink rootstock. Um, yeah. So sometimes they do shoot multiple shoots. You can um, trim these up and they will branch out. But, um, yeah, you probably got a few years in the rootstock itself, and then. Uh, about a year till you get the plant like this size to sell as my foot. So there isn't a fair bit of investment, so three years in that plant, but you go from selling a root stock at you know a couple ten bucks or something, just a pink one, to being able to sell like a a nice grafted one for uh, uh, anywhere from 50 to 100, 150, depending on how rare they are. So, there is, so I mean, you can imagine there's a bit of money sitting there. Um, I've got to trim all these back. They sort of overwintered and grown a bit long and gangly. I'll trim them back, and um, the bigger they get, if I don't sell them, the more money they go for. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a lot here. Um, yeah, it's, so if I can actually find a market for all these, then um, I should have a fair bit of dosh up my sleeve. But um, yeah, it's also as a hobby, these all these ones here I'm keeping on to. Um, you know, but as soon as we get a new colour come up from seed, we'll uh, graft that up and um, keep the mother. Oh, yeah, hopefully that helps you guys.